we haven't, we haven't touched on this in a long time. So first thing we need to remember with this, every single time we're dealing with the absolute inequality, there is two terms we're going to be dealing with, right? We always set it up equals 5x plus 2 is going to be greater than uh, 23. Actually, let's pretend it's an equal sign real quick. Because for an equal sign, you guys need to remember we set up two different possibilities. Do you remember that? We did the positive and you did the negative. When it's an equal sign, you have to do positive and negative, right? Remember absolute value inequalities? To solve, you have to solve for the positive and the negative. However, this was greater than, right? Yes? OK. So when we're doing an inequality, it's the exact same thing. You have to set up a positive and a negative. But if you guys remember, when we're doing inequalities, whenever you are solving and you divided or multiplied by a negative number, you had to flip the sign, right? So when we're dealing with inequalities, yes, the positive remains the same. But now when I'm going to solve for the negative, I have to make sure that I flip the sign. All right, so it's the same thing. You set up a positive and a negative, but for inequalities, you have to make sure you flip the sign. All right, and I think we, you know, we went over class why that works or why we have to do that. If you guys can just remember that. Now, all you simply need to do is just solve. So you subtract 2. 5x equals 21. Divide by 5, divide by 5. x equals 21 over 5 here. I don't know why I wrote equal. Thank you. Yeah, I'm losing it, right? So here, you subtract 2, and you get 5x is less than negative 25. Divide by 5, divide by 5, and therefore, x is less than negative 5. So therefore, you can now say x has to be greater than 21 over 5, or x has to be less than negative 5. All right? And does it ask? It just has to solve for it, right? It doesn't say to graph it. Okay. So, but if you were to graph it, you'd know that all values that are less than negative 5 and all values that are greater than 21 over 5. Okay? All right. So, when you guys return, what I will do.